Hi, Adam here, and today we're going over the brand new 2024 Forest River East to West uh, Blackthorn 3801MB-OK. And OK, that is the understatement of the century. This thing is freaking amazing. You can see just uh, out of the gate, you got these amazing LED lights on the outside. It looks so sharp. Now, MB, this is a mid-bunk style of floor plan, and so you could bring the whole family along, and especially with this couch that converts so simply and easily from the inside. But on the outside first, I want to show you, you have the six point auto level. You can see you got two of them there and then you got in the, in the front and on the back side of the wheels, more auto leveling points. So six point auto level complimentary here. You have the huge storage area, the size of the door dictates the size of the bin you can put in there. Huge bins you could throw in here. They got the carpet all around to minimize that vibration as you're traveling down the road. You can see, I don't know if you can see from the camera, but right there, they actually have uh, heat coming down into this area. So this is a climate controlled storage area. Uh, you do have the slam latch for the storage doors, as well as the magnet latch on top. So it's slam shut just like that. They give you another little storage compartment here. This would be great for small tools or things like that. Um, it's so nice that they use every square inch of this thing. The LED light strip above, both the two awnings. There's just so much awning space in this unit. Huge awning here, another huge awning over there. Uh, they put Asdell in the walls of these units, and so Asdell is nice because it's got a little more insulation. It's not going to have the same D-LAM effects as plywood might. Uh, and it's just an overall better material. You have a much bigger refrigerator here than most units. Uh, lots of great uh, counter space, storage area there too. Uh, you have the drop down TV as well. How do we work that, Guy? Do you know how that works? Uh, you yeah. press this? Yeah. Wow. Can yeah. you see this? Yeah. This is amazing. Oh my God. This is a first class experience. Now this is straight up out of some high tech movie. This isn't real life, is it? This is insane. I'm just gonna put that back up. And so you got the griddle here as well. And that is just a really nice griddle. Look how smooth that is. You can fit at least, what, three pancakes, would you say? A full pound of bacon, at least. And, uh, and probably a couple eggs. So whatever you want to do there. So you have everything you could possibly need in this outdoor area. Just so amazing to have that. And then the LP quick connect is down there too for your convenience. Down here you got your spray port in case you need access to water on your campsite. You do have a louder, you have a two inch receiver at the bottom there too. The two inch receiver is nice for either a cargo carrier or if your locality allows for double towing, you can do that too. You're prepped for a uh, backup camera if need be. You can see there's three slides on the back side, one on the front, so this is a four slide unit, which really opens it up. There's just a huge amount of space. Uh, this is a good spot to see the tires. So you have really sharp wheels there. Just look at that, that looks so nice. It's Goodyear tires as well. It makes it so that you, you can trust that brand. Not gonna blow up like some of those China bombs. I don't know if you can see in there too, but you have the CRE 3000 for your uh, suspension there too. So that's three uses of give up and down as you're traveling down the road. Uh, really important for a smooth and comfortable ride. Uh, here's one of the biggest things that you got going on. Tankless on-demand hot water heater. Can you imagine not having that? But what does that do for you? Unlimited showers as long as you're hooked up to water. So you gotta have that. This is the back side of the storage area. So you can see the centralized wet bay, a couple of valves, really easy to access right there. You have your battery disconnect, outdoor shower, and a bunch of other valves there as well. Uh, and then you got your propane storage along the sides. Um, and then just another amazing look at this super sharp front cap. I mean, that's just spectacular. Imagine rolling up to the campground and seeing this thing. Everybody's just gonna be staring at you. Everybody's just gonna be wowed by how amazing you look going into the campground. And so now we get to go inside of the unit. Uh, this is a, the nice uh, step above, four steps going in. Uh, so very sturdy here, and it's also the zero G steps. And so it's gonna be really easy to pick up. And then you have the uh, the, the step, uh, what do they call it? Uh, safety rail, that's what it is, safety rail. And so going up or then going down too, you have total uh, safety going up and down. So come on in. You can see that you got the beautiful rear living sort of setup back here along with your mid bunk. 
Uh, they do a great job with the interior design. Uh, I love how bright it is, but then also it looks contemporary and somewhat modern with the great contrast with the black appliances along with the bright gray furniture along with the white countertops. Everything in here just plain pops. Now the first thing that I always show somebody whenever I show this unit is always the couch. I really want to show you this couch because the moment I saw this, the real, I realized it was a game changer. I saw it in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It was the first time I saw it. And so all you got to do is pick that up. And look how easy this is. I'm not doing anything. And boom, the whole thing is made. And look at this. Plenty of space. And the, the biggest part about this couch is that it's even. There's no divot down for the first two cushions and then that flips down to. There's no divot down. And so this is the most comfortable uh, high to bed sofa in the RV industry bar none. And so if you're looking for a little bit of extra sleeping, this is the best couch that you can go with. But if you have this and you have that mid bump, you can sleep plenty of guests. And then to put it back, like this is just the easiest thing. I would do it with just my foot, but I don't want to show off too much. It just goes away so easily. And then you put these back and it's done. Just like that. And so you also have the theater seats here. The theater seats, they uh, face directly across from the TV, of course, and the electric fireplace. That's fine. Uh, and they do recline, which is really nice. The great leatherette, too. They do a huge TV as well. The other units, they just don't do a TV this size. Blackthorn, they know that people just want a huge TV. Uh, and then the huge electric fireplace as well, both huge, huge points. One thing that you notice is there's, about the floors, there's no heat vents in the floors whatsoever. Also, there's no carpeting in the floors. None of that. All of the floors are just going to be the easiest floors in the industry to clean. All you got to do is sweep and you're done. Uh, you also have uh, extra countertops on both sides of the island here. So you get a lot of extra counter space. Uh, so you got all this counter space here along with this really attractive uh, residential style faucet. And then the solid surface countertop over here as well. Three burner stove, oven, huge GE microwave, which is amazing. Residential style refrigerator with huge fridge and huge freezer. You can see the residential light fixtures as well. And then they always do, even in their mid bunk, I'll do this one so you can see, um, the pantry with the adjustable shelves on this side. And look at that, when you open that, the LED light comes on. Really sharp, really convenient too. When you're, you know, maybe you want some midnight snacks, you know. That light just pops right on for you so you can see the cookies that you're about to binge on. And then up here, you got another storage area with the hidden hinges. Just so nice to have all of that extra storage there too. And then this side, if you were to see, this is where the shelves, I'll put this down so you can see a little bit better. Um, this is where you can see the shelves can just be totally removable. And they put these little hooks here in case you want a coat closet instead of a pantry. Again, this is like a build your own adventure here when it comes to uh, this unit. And so you have five days tongue groove floor in this unit all throughout. So that's going to minimize your opportunity for soft spots and water intrusion into that. You have a really nice cozy sort of dinette feel. I love that they put the TV in back of those chairs. It makes you feel so tucked in, so at home, but you still have this big window so you don't feel too enclosed or anything like that. Uh, you have the bench style seat on this side, and then you got the chairs on that side. I'll show them. Should I show them the bench style seat too? You think so, Guy? Okay, let's see if I can find the. Oh, that's strapped in. I'll make it happen though, don't you worry. Okay. So we got this that comes off. There's something really special here that I really want to show you. That comes out. And then for those who like to work from home, boom, you got a desk. And so if you've got a couch over there, you've got a desk as well. So whether you want to, I don't know, have a TV dinner and eat your sandwich at the desk or whether you want to work from home and work at the desk. Either way, this is the way to do it. Uh, they think of everything, you know. And then below there, of course, lots of amazing storage. Also fantastic. So I'll put a couple of these things back so I don't leave too much of a mess. All right. I think that's it for the kitchen. So we'll head on to the mid bunk area. Again, this is a mid bunk style floor plan. I just gotta find the light. Can you find the light? No. Not there? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the mid bunk. And so you get a lot of extra goodies when you go with a mid bunk. Uh, one is you do have a bunk, of course. That's gonna sleep somebody who's probably a little bit shorter than me. I'm six foot two. Uh, this thing maybe likes a kid who is 10 and under. Perfect spot for them with a nice teddy bear mattress. But if you don't need that, that does flip up. 
and that goes right in right there. And then you have this couch, which also pulls out in that same fashion. This becomes a very large, probably I'd say about a full size bed, which is amazing. And then you got the desk over here as well. So again, that work from home theme, you have two different spots where you can feasibly work from home. And you do have a lot of nice cabinetry here as well. And at this top one, they have a bar pre-installed. And so you can remove the shelves and just use that if you wanted as a closet. So that's the mid bunk. You can see it does have some ducted air and ducted heat into this unit. So all climate controlled there. Now, even in a, this mid profile unit, they'll give you a loft over the mid bunk. So usually that's reserved for just those full profile units. So they give you that here, which is amazing. You have the bathroom over here. So uh, they are going with a nice one piece style shower. And so I'm going to hop in. I'm six foot two and you can see my head is not hitting that right there. So plenty of space, nice residential style fixtures. Again, one piece. So you're minimizing your chances of leaking. You can sit here uh, so I can shave my legs. That's the really important thing for me to do with uh, sitting down. Just kidding. I don't do that. And then you got the nice counter space, lots of cabinetry, medicine cabinets, four different sliders all going down. And then they even do the pull out trash can here. Uh, so that can be hidden away, which is, you know, really amazing. And then they have the, even this thing. So they have the toilet paper holder and they, they attach it to a magnet. And so you can pick this up and put your toilet paper on there, wherever it needs to go, and then put it back there to where it goes. They're literally thinking of everything. Imagine, imagine camper, the camper manufacturers who don't think of that. They're just not thinking of you the same way. Another key element with all of these lights is that they are in dimmers. And so you can see the lights dimming on and off. Uh, that you can really set the mood instead of just having those blaring LED lights or maybe just the lights that just don't quite cut it. You can set you can set the lights to your mood. Now, you have a king size bed in this unit with a nice attractive backboard there. You can see the second AC and all of the ducts for the AC above. Um, you have the uh, you have the uh, the dresser here and you have all of the storage. It's just an amazing amount of storage. Uh, what, what's this one, Guy? How does you this, pull it? Up. You pull it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you pull this here, and then you got lots of extra storage. Again, I couldn't even figure out how to get in there, and so the bad guys won't be able to either, which is the part, the important part. This unit actually has washer dryer pre-installed. You hardly ever see that in a fifth wheel. Um, I just I don't really like. It's just insane, especially at the price point we're trying to sell this at. Uh, this one in particular, I, I think it's. Do you have the price on this? No, um, let's just say, I don't know, 75,000. That's for you only. 75,000 for you and you get this whole fifth wheel and the washer and dryer. Uh, even, it, whether you do or don't have that, either way, you have a lot of closet space in here too. So that's also another really important thing about this bedroom. So um, I think that's it for this unit. Unless there's something else I've got up, I don't think so. But anyway, uh, what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Feel free to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to get notified when other videos like this come out in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.